Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and today we'll have a look at vector space AI coin and how does it work? Before we continue with this video, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Vector AI or VXV is a set of protocols built in correlation matrix and data sets whose graphs can detect hidden relationships in data and do artificial training without the need to jump to the DeFi or trading. Now Vector Space is a machine learning and financial IT company that offers alternative data sets and a feature engineering platform. It is an Ethereum based project feature engineering attempts to generate additional relevant features from existing raw features in a data and increase the predictive power of the learning algorithm. Although a little technical, the following explanations are important for a better understanding of the project. Now we're going to go through quite a few things in this video. We'll actually go through a price analysis and price prediction, and that's going to be really entertaining. We'll also go through some of the key areas in vector space, such as the technology. We really want to get a proper understanding of the technology beyond vector space, because that's one of the main focus of this video and it's important to vector space. So it should be important to us. So it should be quite important to us as well. Now the token is actually priced at $3.56 at the moment. Now in additional information, the vector space model is an algebraic model that represents text documents as a vector of an index term. It is used in computer science, especially in the information retrieval, neutral language processing and text mining. Vector space context control correlation matrix data set can be used to create smart baskets these are assets groups such as stocks and cryptocurrencies. Now perceiving the hidden relationship between stocks, assets and global events based on emotional, symbiotic and, and many more elements and hidden relationships can lead to unique opportunities associated with information. Now the vector space token, the utility token will be used as a means of payment for services on the platform. Now, like I was saying before, right now the coin is actually $3.57. This is with a market cap of 138 million. That is based on public information. Now on other sites, the market cap might actually differ, but this is the information that is provided. Now, as for the circling supply of tokens, 38.8 million tokens in circling supply and 50 million tokens in total supply. Now, if you take a look at vector space within the last three months, it actually hasn't been doing too well. At some of the highest points, the price was as high as $17.55 with over 13.6 million in a given 24 hours trading volume period. That was really amazing. But since then, the price has really fallen quite a lot. That's what I'm here to explain is what's happening with the price. Where's the floor? Where's the ceiling? And where's it consolidating? What could actually happen to the price in the future? Now, what you have to understand, given that the crypto is actually trending downwards, three months ago, this crypto was $10.50 or $10.40. You're looking at a price right now of $3.57. That's a huge reduction in price. Not to mention it's a huge reduction in trading volumes as well, because the trading volumes, as we speak right now, is hovering just around 1.3 million, 1.2 million on average. And within the last seven days alone, this coin has actually fall from $4.87 to where it is right now at $3.57. That's a huge reduction in price. That's why we'll go for a price analysis and a price prediction. Question is, can it get back to $10? Can it get back to $17? We actually don't know. It's actually really unpredictable, ex extremely volatile, and it's tanking. It's tanking quite a bit. The entire crypto market is actually tanking and going down. But Vector Space AI seems to be experiencing this at an extreme loss in price, extreme cost. It's, experien it's experiencing this is extremely bad, not good for the crypto at all. That's quite obvious. But let's get back to a few things. The technology. At our system core, as you can see in the near future, you'll notice we're processing information such as peer review scientific literature as it is published by the minute from the National Library of Medicine along with other news and information resource. Now let's take a look at the Vector Space AI in a more in-depth way. The interesting thing in the last 24 hours is that Vector Space isn't actually consolidating. It's more or less just volatile. 
this tells me that it's actually not finding a balance for its price. It's actually not finding a realistic price. If it was consolidating and it was becoming it was becoming stable, that would be a realistic price. But it's actually not doing that at all, which basically says it will keep on falling. For the foreseeable future, for the next few weeks, maybe even a month, it will continue to fall. Ultimately, that's probably good for a lot of investors because this means that you can buy the token when it's as when it's at its cheapest. Once again, not financial advice, but it's just obvious. But to be honest, going to $10 once again, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Perhaps the second or third quarter of 2022 this year, but definitely not within the next three months. Not because it can't do it, but simply because that's not the direction, it's not the direction that the market is heading in. The market is not feeling positive about vector space AI. This does not show any signs of positivity. This shows a very negative mindset from the people are from the people who are investing in vector AI. This actually shows that people are just waiting for it to hit its bottom. People are waiting for it to consolidate, to get to a price point where it can start becoming stable. And it hasn't done that yet. It's a long way off. But ultimately, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching until the end. I really appreciate it. If I missed anything in this video, if I missed anything in this video, leave a comment. Let's have a discussion. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you in my next video.